What up, Lick Daddies? Welcome back to the channel. Your boy's back. Another reaction. Today we're reacting to Artificial Anatomy by Left to Suffer featuring Kim Dracula. So I, you guys know I'm a big fan of Left to Suffer. I've been, uh, I've reacted to them a few times and they've killed it every fucking time. I got, think they got a really good, unique sound. Really diverse when it comes to the music. And of course, uh, Taylor's vocals are fucking brutal. But I'm really excited to check this song out because I have, I've heard of the name Kim Dracula. I've seen their videos being like uh, on the on the feed, but I I never gave them much thought. But it seems like uh it seems like they've been getting some traction lately, and I'm really curious on what they uh, the kind of music they make. I don't know if it's metalcore, deathcore, new metal. Like they did a song with Jonathan Davis that I didn't check out. But if I do end up liking what Kim Dracula does, and if you guys are interested, I will do something I haven't done and go back and react to something old or something most recent from them. If you guys guys want me to do that let me know in the comments but i'm i'm excited to hear how they sound and how they mesh with uh left to suffer because left to suffer i know what they sound like and i enjoy what they sound like and i'm excited to check this uh check this song out don't forget to like and subscribe let's go square up Fuck, dude. Taylor sounds fucking crazy. This sounds so, like, sinister. I mean, the video looks pretty fucked up, so I, I mean, it makes sense. Sounds like Kim, right? I don't know. I've never heard Taylor sound like that. That sounds like some porn scatting. I don't know if I was, I don't know what's going on when it comes to bumbles. In my mind, if I see Taylor, I think it's Taylor. New sounds right there. Acoustic guitar? Alright. Uh, 
Oh, that's an acoustic guitar outro. All right, that was Artificial Anatomy, Left to Suffer, and Kim Dracula. Kim Dracula sounded super interesting, definitely heavy on the corn influences. I um, think it makes sense on why they got a Jonathan Davis feature. I don't know if, I, I don't know what they actually sound like, what their solo stuff is. Maybe they're like a motionless and white clone or something. Like that's what I got from their name being Kim Dracula. But I mean, this song was super fucking heavy. Taylor's, uh, Taylor's definitely working on some new sounds when it comes to the, the old deathcore vocals. Heard some of that, uh, that Raptor stuff that has been going around lately. And a little bit of a uh, little rap part, like, or not really rapping, but like that spoken word stuff that I'm, I really enjoy. I've been enjoying the brutality of this song and every single they dropped so far from the new album coming out. And I'm excited for it. Like if you guys, like I said, if you guys want me to go check out any more Kim Dracula, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm looking forward to hear what Left to Suffer does next. Every single they've dropped, every last project they've dropped has been a banger for me. And I get, I, I personally get, get excited when I see Taylor's featured on a, on a song from another artist. I think he, he's been doing a lot of features and he kills it every time. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to see what they, these guys do next. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next. And you guys have a fantastic day.